Hey everybody, this is Kodok here, and uh, I finally stopped playing Pokemon Go long enough to check my front door and discovered that Hasbro had sent me something very interesting. This is the Gemneon Army. It is an exclusive item available from San Diego Comic Con for $30. Now, San Diego Comic Con isn't until next week, but I did get the chance to give you guys a special preview of it, thanks to my connections with Hasbro. Now, as a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, they know that the collecting is very important, so as a result, they made sure that the box is just as good as what's inside. Now, the box, based on the fact that it's a bunch of jewel-based yokai, it looks like a jewelry box, complete with the latch here. It's very fancy. I'm still amazed how they managed to get this, uh, this section on the bottom, this sort of frilled section. It's really, it feels really solid. I'm kind of astonished as to how they managed to do that with the packaging. It's really something you got to get your hands on to see to really appreciate. Anyways, like I said, it is a jewelry box with all of the Gemnions featured on the outside. It's very nice to look at, feels very solid, and of course if we flip up the lid, we get the full set of Gemnions. These are the Gemnions. They are all based on different gems, and these metals actually unlock them in the game. If you notice, they actually have a special pattern on them that put together forms a pentagon. And that is because when all five Gemnions are brought together, they form Exodia, the Forbidden Yon. Okay, I'm kidding, but the Gemnions are all very powerful. Not only do they have access to all of the bells, which are special cat-only equipment that gives them benefits without any drawbacks like a lot of the other equipment might, each one is also very powerful. Emeraldion in particular is used in a lot of strategies to defeat Orkanos, the game's ultimate super boss. Now, each of these yokai medals does contain a QR code on the back that unlocks a special coin to put in the Krankakai, and when you insert the coin into the Krankakai, they won't even bother to show up, just giving you a bell instead. Well, gee, that's an interesting way of showing gratitude for being released from your eternal prison. I mean, even the evil Princess Demona becomes friends with you. Then again, she kind of commands you become friends with her. Now, I'm sure you've also noticed the cardboard divider here and what is inside, but <gasps> the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Dianyan figure. This is a special metallic version of the Jibanyan figure that is available in many stores, only it's been decorated to resemble Dianyan, the uh, one pictured on the top here. The Dianyan figure is a, it's a fairly general figure, although it also kind of represents one problem with this box, is that I know that the collector box is very, very important, but it's a little difficult to display when it's like this. The lid doesn't open very far and it's a bit difficult to see inside. That is really the only problem with the set, but otherwise, this thing just oozes class. I love how classy this whole thing is, and it is very good. I am going to be giving you guys the codes on the back of these coins. These codes work on every game, and of course, all of these medals work with Hasbro's version of the Yokai Watch. So there is a preview of the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive set for Yokai Watch. They're going to be available at the Hasbro booth for $30, and if you ask me, I think they'd definitely be worth the price. It is definitely a good buy. Like I said, I've only done half the work for you. There's still plenty of reason to buy it if you happen to go to San Diego Comic-Con to get them. I will definitely be putting those codes at the end of the video, and until next time, this is Kodak signing off.